folks, this story is about communists, communist China, the gangster overlords in the Middle Kingdom, China. About three years ago, I posted a video about a Buddhist monk in Tibet who was arrested by the Kami gangster authorities. They throw him in a prison cell. But one day they announced, hey! One day he was in the prison cell, the next day he was not there. The doors were locked, he just disappeared. Yeah! You see, the Middle Kingdom is now the mystical kingdom, the magical kingdom. And that poor monk was never heard from again. Well, he just disappeared. Who are you going to blame? The Kami authorities because he disappeared? So now let's bring it up three years later. A, Kami, a uh, Chinese dissident, Li Wan Yang, in Tiananmen Square. Well, the Kami's make their sweep and they're murdering a whole bunch of people. Well, they grab him and arrest him and throw him in prison. For 20 years, he was at hard labor. He's in solitary confinement some of the most of the times and beaten constantly. And through the solitary confinement, the hard labor and the constant beatings, he maintained his determination to go forward. He still had the spirit to live and go on. Well, after 20 years, he develops a heart disease and diabetes. So they throw him out of the prison and he's released. So for the last year, he's in a hospital, incidentally. In the hospital room, outside the front door, was a guard to make sure he doesn't engage in any more dissident activities. It wasn't to protect him. Well, on June 6th, they found his body in his room, hanging well, with bed sheets around his neck. And the commie authorities said, hey, this guy committed suicide. We held an investigation. We looked at the videos outside the room. Nobody suspicious went in and out. He committed suicide. The man had a determination to live. 20 years in prison, hard labor, solitary confinement, beating. Never committed suicide and thought about it. The past year, his family said he was in good spirits with that determination. And you want to know what's even more telling about this incident? He committed suicide by hanging himself. His feet were touching the ground when they found him. How do you hang yourself with your feet touching the ground? Well, it's quite simple. Only in the magical kingdom. When once was the middle kingdom. But the commies turned it into a magical kingdom. They find ways to make uh, people disappear. They find ways for people to commit suicide with their feet on the ground. And that's all because of that bankrupt ideology, communism. And you must understand this, folks. The gateway ideology to communism is socialism. Communist, communism is nothing but for people who are gangsters, who are thugs. We are to avoid them at all times, at all costs. All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. And God have mercy on the family of Lily Wan Young and all the other people in China who are not affiliated with this commie thug regime. See you folks.